Uh, let's hope that uh, this new armor helps. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is King Conveal and welcome back to my court here in Manor Lords. So last episode we did a lot of prepping for war. We were able to produce a bunch of the heavy armor, advanced armor, plate armor, whatever it is. And we're able to upgrade most of this retinue. Most of them are upgraded. And we expanded our second retinue, got a third retinue that we still need to expand. And we worked on getting a bunch of male armor for the spear and archer militia. So that is coming along fairly well as well, at least in, in up here in New Slow where the male armor is located. In addition, we basically just grew everything and uh, did some trading, did, did just grew the towns in preparation for war against the Baron. So I need 2,000 influence to claim a territory. And I currently have 7,000. So I think I'm going to do a bit more prep and then I might go to war this time. And I have an idea. I have a, a, a plan on what I might want to try to do. I'm not going to give any hints just yet, but keep an eye out. You'll know it when you see it. But the first thing I want to do, main thing I want to do, is work on getting more influence. So I'm going to need, well, at least eventually, 2,000 per. So that's 10,000 influence. So I got to get, get that. So I'm going to work on pumping up my tithing since I've got tons of food in pretty much everywhere. I will bump up my tithing in each of these locations and try to get some more influence and prep or go into war. In addition, I need to get a bit more money so I can finish outfitting my retinues. I need to get some more armor to help protect my troops. And then, yeah, I think I'm, I'll go to war. So without further ado, let me get into it. Make sure there's plenty of trading going on. And uh, yeah, I'll get into it. I'm gonna change this from barley to berries or helmets down to Eichenhau. Help get their army a bit better protected. Uh, at this British plot in Wallbrand, I'm going to make a joiner shop so that they can start making some more shields so that I can try to make another spear militia unit. They have pretty much all the helmets they need, they've got the spears they need, they've got the people they need, but they don't have enough shields. So gonna get some more shields here. I'm gonna try building a couple more houses up here in Nuslo and try to get a bit more armor making going. Six houses like this will be good. Let's upgrade this hitching post to a small shed, a small stable. I'm gonna build two more houses right here in the middle and wall brand. And a couple more down here and I can how build three more houses here. Yeah, one of them a double plot. There we go. All right, I've got some money down here and I can how now. So I'm gonna make some chicken coops. Make three of them. I'm gonna make a bunch of chicken coops up here and wall brand as well. I got 78 ale here. So I'm going to get someone up in the tavern and upgrade what Burgish plots to level three that I can. Right, it is September, which means it's time to harvest down here in Eichenhau. So let's get a full farmhouse. There are 13 people that are pissed off at me. What's going on? They're not getting any food. Why are you not getting any food? When I've got tons of food, maybe there just need to be more people in the stalls. It's got to be it. Let's construct another granary so I can basically just put more people in it to get more uh, people making food stalls. That's the only thing I can think of that's the issue. All right, food's already getting better. It's already up to 61%. Yeah, I don't know what the heck that was all about, but... All right, so there is now ale in the tavern. So let's see if I can level up a bunch of these. I'm pretty sure I just level two to level three. I can do some, and then I run out of timber. So we can pause that. Let's see if I can finish upgrading this retinue. I don't know if I have quite enough armor. We'll see, though. 
Yeah, that retinue is fully upgraded. The new slow retinue has 24 fully upgraded individuals. Awesome. So now I need to upgrade the wall brand retinue and expand and upgrade the I can now retinue. All right, I can get another level three burgish plot down here in Wallbrand. We'll do that. All right, and I can how I need a malt house, which I still don't have the timber for. So got to get some timber, then I'll make a malt house and then I will work on making a brewery or whatever it is down here so that I can level this up as well. I can make a couple more chicken coops, two more chicken coops. OK, so yeah, it looks like they get angry when a food is taken with the tithing, but they looks like they quickly get it back. So, all right, that's that's what happens. I'm going to get a couple more retinue and my smallest one. Just get two for now until after taxes are paid, or at least until I get more money. I want to make sure I have enough for taxes. Wallbrand leveled up and gained a development point. So with that one, this is nice. Foreign suppliers uh, builds a wood cart of a firewood cart, which provides passive income of firewood and a food cart, which provides a passive income of bread. Let's get the, uh, the foreign suppliers. So let's build a food cart. Let's build it right here. Firewood cart right there. There we go. We got a firewood cart coming along as well. All right, because the people up here are so unhappy with the way the food is, I'm going to drop the tithing down and a touch and see if that helps. All right, so let's build myself a malt house. I'm going to build another logging camp right here and start that going as well. All right, and let's re-enable the tavern here in Wallbrand. I can level up some more of these to level three. Okay, two, and then I ran out of timber. That was the, that's the issue, running out of timber. All right, gonna level one of these up to level two down here in Eichenhaus so I can start getting a brewery going once the malt house is completed, which it now is. So let's get someone up in there. I don't know how I get people to move in to these houses faster. Seems like it takes forever. I mean, I've got so many empty houses. I've got great approval, but people just aren't moving in. And I don't know why. Well, speaking of which, there's a family, finally. All right, and let's make a brewery. All brands halfway there. I should probably over halfway because I've got two more, three more under construction, three more level three British plots under construction. So I just need two more. I haven't gotten any gambesons this entire time that I've been trying to import them. Thought I was trading for them. Thought I was sending them up here, but there's there's none anywhere. None of the you know armies have gambesons, so I don't I don't know what's going on with those. I'm going to make another logging camp down here in Wallbrand as well. All right, we have some ale. So I'll put someone up in the tavern down here in Eichenhau so that I can not start leveling anything up yet. I'm going to pause it because I need to get some secondary clothing. So time to level that up and get some co uh, get a cobbler going. A new family moved into the blacksmith up here. That means one of my blacksmiths wasn't actually doing anything. So hopefully now that'll help me produce more armor. So this spear militia is just about done with the male armor, as is that archer, as is that archer unit. Nice. And once those are done, I can start sending them down to Eichenhau for those two and Walbrand for that one. How close am I being able to make a second? Oh, I can I can make a second spear militia down here make a second spear militia or maybe not maybe I'm maxed out on the army that I can have I guess so I guess I'm maxed out all right never mind but I have tons of money so I'm going to spend some of it to expand this retinue a bit more and this I will send meat for the plate armor and since they all have helmets as well, and we got plenty of backup helmets, I'll also trade vegetables for the plate armor. 
And once the Nuslau armies are full up on the male armor, I will start sending the male armor out as well. All right, this British plot's done, so let's make a cobbler so they can start making us some shoes. All right, I've got enough timber, so let's upgrade that, and that one, and that one, and that one. And we'll do that one to level two, that one to level three, and that's all I can afford with the uh, the timber. Upgrade another British plot to level two in Eichenhau and get another uh, cobbler shop up and running. I've got 9,000 influence. I just need 1,000 more influence in order to be able to claim all five of them. And I won't need to worry about getting any more influence. All right, and I can upgrade a couple of the, you know what? Mm, yeah, a couple of the retinue and wall brand with better armor. Wall brand increased settlement size. All right, so in order to level up, I would need four more level one Burgish plots, four more level two, and five more level three. All right, so I think this time I am going to get the better deals. Yeah, I'll do that. Let's just hurry up and build some more Burgish plots. I know I only need four, but let's go ahead and build five. And increase some of these to level two, if I can. Got one of them up to level two. If I unpause the tavern, I'll be able to get one more up to level three. I'll level as many of these up to level two as I can. Let's expand that. I'm going to unpause the tavern. So I think once I do that and get someone up in there, I should be able to increase a couple of these level two British plots to level three down here in Eichenhau. So down here, I'll just need, after I finish leveling up a couple of these to level two British plots, I'll just need eight level one, eight more level one British plots and then 15 level three Burgish plots, and I'll be able to max out this city. I wasn't even really planning on doing that here. I need eight level one Burgish plots. I misread that. I don't know where I got four. I need eight. All right, well, I'm building five, so let's go ahead and build at least three more. Nope, let's not. Let's wait till I have timber. All right, I got tons of money, so let's work on expanding this retinue a bit more. We'll stop there for now and we'll get the final four after I pay the taxes. All right, let's work on building some of those eight houses that I need. There's four. And there's five more. So that should be all the houses that I need to get up to the large town. We saw the level one Burgage plots I need. I've already got all the level two Burgage plots I need. I just need the level threes. Yes, I need 30, 20, 15, and I just produced up to like 30, 31, and I've got 22. All right, let's unpause this and see if there are any level two British plots that I can level up. Requirements not met. What requirements aren't met? Oh, the tavern was paused. So there's one, there's two, three, four, not enough wealth. Okay. Well, we'll get four, and that'll get us up to the small town. All right, there are my taxes, 527 gone. So let's now work on the army as I can. I can improve the armor of three more, and I can recruit three more retinue. I need 26 more gold coins, whatever it is, to fill out my third retinue. All right, unpause the tavern, level that one up. So after that, we should have all of the level three British plots that I need. So I'm working on, that's 13, 14. Now I'll need one more. I still need six level one British plots and three level two British plots. Oh, wait, I'm working on this one going up to level three as well. That one and that one should be my last two level three Burgish plots that I need to level up. Then I need five level one Burgish plots and tax increased. All right. I'll need five level one Burgish plots and two level two Burgish plots. 
And I'll work on building some more British plots. There's five. So that should be good as long as I can level them up. Let's level that up to a level two British plot. And that one. And we'll expand that one. And unpause the tavern and try to level some more up to level three. And that's all I can afford currently. But I can fill out my last retinue. So I've got three retinues of 24 people. One has fully upgraded armor. The other one is getting there almost halfway. All right. I can how actually leveled up already. Awesome. So let's get rye cultivation. All right. So I've got two more after this. So I can get rye cultivation, irrigation, and bakeries all here. So let's start with irrigation. I can level up this British plot to level two and wall brand, And that should be number 20 that I need there. And unpause that. All right, so I've got all the level two British plots I need. I need four more level one British plots, which I'm working on five currently, and one more level three, which I'm now working on. So this should be it. Hmm. I have 69 families up here in New Slough. Nice. All right, I'm going to make some wheat fields down here and uh, start working towards bread. So I'll be getting that soon. Right, there's one, there's two, there's three. I'll do wheat, wheat follow, wheat follow wheat, and follow wheat wheat. There we go. I might actually also build another farmhouse to help deal with this one. I've got six level three burgers plots and I've got enough money by two more. So let's turn on the tavern and see if I can get any more. There's one, two, and that's all I can afford. All right, in Walbrand, I've got all the burgers plots level two that I need, all the burgers plots level three that I need, and I'm only two short on level one and I'm working on making four more so I'll have that very shortly. I can how has all the British plus level two that they need and working on the remaining four of the level ones that I'll need. So I'll just need a bunch of the level threes as I can afford them. Wall brand increased. Nice. There we go. So now let's get the advanced skinning. Get double the meat. I think my bloomery here is falling behind on the work that needs to be done. So I'm going to make another bloomery. Try to speed things up a little bit so I can speed up the armor making. Yeah, the iron slabs is, is lacking. So I need another bloomery. All right, let's add a plowing station to this farmhouse. All right, the bloomery is constructed. So let's get a couple people up and going in there. All right, I can how I can improve two more burgish plots, level two to level three. Nope, I need planks. I got enough timber now. Now I need to reactivate the saw pit. And I'm going to get another ox down here in I can how. All right, just to make sure I don't run out of storage space, I'm going to make another granary and storehouse here in Walbrand. And I'll go ahead and do the same if I can find a space here in I can how as well. All right, in preparation for being able to make bread, I'm going to go ahead and get a windmill up and going. That's 97% efficient there. And then the communal oven. Where can I put that? Right there. Ah, uh, I see why I'm not getting any planks because I'm turning them all into bows. So I don't need any more bows down here. I was wondering what happened to all my planks. 
I can house all the level one and level two burgish plots I need. I just need six more level three burgish plots to fully upgrade this town. For that, I basically just need more money. Enemy units have been spotted. Okay, where? I don't see enemy units yet. Let's give them a little bit of time for them to show up, and then I'll know where to call in my troops. Well, I guess I should just get all my troops up here in the middle and wall brand, since that's central. There they are. All right. Let's get all my guys up that way. Uh, let's hope that uh, this new armor helps. All right, there they are. They got here a lot quick quicker than I could get my troops assembled. All right. Go get them. Wow, um, that armor really helped a lot. All right, you're not going to get there in time. You just go home. Y'all aren't going to get there in time. Y'all go home. Ah, uh, there's another one here. I'll go protect the archers. Wow, so that armor really helped a lot. I lost one troop. That was incredible. I mean, the, war, the battle isn't quite over, but yeah, I lost one. One single troop. I lost one of my archers. Heck yeah, that was awesome. All right, well, that's where I'm going to end this episode today. So thank you all for being here. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know I did. I uh, did quite a bit today. Grew a couple of my towns, grew one of them all the way up to another large town. So I now have two large towns. And my third one is well on its way. And we'll get there pretty quickly, I would think. And also, I was able to continue upgrading my army and getting it a bunch of armor and filling out all of my retinues, getting ready for the final battle. And lastly, I gained a bunch of influence. So if I don't have the 10,000 now that I need to claim all five, I will shortly in the next episode. I can't remember where I am at it exactly at this point. So yeah, next episode, uh, we're going to finish it up. We're going to try to finish it up at least. We're going to try to claim all five territories that the Baron owns, and we're going to try to fight it out with my newly beefed up army. So be sure to come back in two weeks for the next and potentially final episode. And in the meantime, check out some of my other playthroughs. I just started a really awesome Europa Universalis 4 game as Brandenburg, where I'm going to eventually form Prussia and then Germany. I've also started a really fun, chill, going medieval game, which is a nice, chill medieval city builder. And be sure to head over to Kongville Survives for a lot of fun survival game streams. So I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, however much of it is left, and I will catch you all next time. Take care, everyone. Bye.